What's up, guys? K Dot 357 coming to you here. Um, today is uh, Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Um, Lorian said I probably need to throw a video up because I, I've been sick, so I haven't been by the store. And I went home from work yesterday early uh, to go to the doctor. Um, and then um, I work today at the police department, and tomorrow is my last day on four, and then I'm off and don't go back until Thursday night. So, hey, uh, we're lucky. Our shift's off for Christmas. But I uh, apologize for my voice. I've just kind of felt like crap last two or three days. Um, uh, I'm taking some medicine now, but uh, congestion is, is something awful in my chest. And, uh, of course, my voice is about gone. So I plan on doing another video tomorrow when I get off work. Uh, I'll probably come home, change, and run up to the store right quick and pop another one up there. But uh, they've been busy the last few days. Lord went to Greensboro uh, yesterday and got some more guns. Uh, come back with a few uh, Glock 43s with night sights. Uh, really cool. So come on by and check those out. Still got plenty of ammo in stock, holsters, and lots of other uh, things in there that you could use for stocking stuffers. And don't forget about gift certificates. You know, if you're like me, you know, you bought your parents everything you think you buy, your, your kids or whatever, or your friends. So don't forget the gift of safety if you run out, of, run out of ideas. They don't have a concealed carry permit. Even if they don't want to carry concealed, they're going to a lot about, learn a lot about the law as far as when they can use force and use deadly force and things like that. So, um, But our concealed carry classes, we've got another one set for uh, the 2nd of July. Of, oh, Lord, the sickness is affecting my brain. This The 2nd of January, which is on a Tuesday, the 6th and the 20th of January, which are on Saturdays. Once again, class fees is $49. You can register by coming by our store at 1606 Westover Drive, Sanford, NC, 27330. Um, or you can call call the guys up on the phone. They can get you registered over the phone. Uh, if you want a gift certificate, um, ideally it would be good if you come by the store so Lori could fix you up a nice little gift certificate. You can get a gift certificate not just for concealed carry, but we've had people just buying, can I buy a gift certificate for the store? Absolutely. Um, so we can give you a gift certificate for any reason, uh, for our store or for firearms training, private instruction or what have you. We, we also do private instruction. So I'm going to sign off here. Four o'clock comes pretty early in the morning. Uh, like I said, my last day on four tomorrow. And then hopefully Lord willing, I'll be well for Christmas Eve and Christmas day. And then we go back in Thursday night, but, uh, a little bit unconventional tonight because I'm not used to doing videos like this in my house. Um, with no uh, tripod and the lighting's not right and all that, but hey, it's, it's better than nothing and thought that counts, right? And listen, speaking of that, um, we greatly, greatly appreciate your business. Um, you know, this year is four years that we've been in business, and it seems like it was yesterday. You know, it's tough when you open up a new business. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of faith, and hard work, and um, uh because of y'all, you know, we're still in business. Sadly, there are some gun stores in the surrounding area that have closed this year. And, um, you know, when Trump got elected, I'm going to be honest with you, I mean, it, it, it hurt the gun business a little bit because, you know, I think the urgency to buy a gun is not there. We're still selling a lot of guns, but it's not the frenzy um, that it was. So I think it's the urgency is not there because people really, honestly, I think they feel safe about um, their rights uh, to possess a firearm in the Second Amendment and so forth. Let another election year term come around, and, and who knows how things will be again. But anyway, um, we'll see. So thanks again, guys, for your business. I'm wishing you and yours a very, very Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Well, I need, that's backwards, actually. My little, my little slogan, stay armed and stay safe. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you're blessed. I hope you got plenty to eat, warm place to stay. There's so many homeless people out there. You know, we need to pray for these people. Um, it, it, as a police officer, I don't know. It just seems like this year I've seen more homeless people uh, than I've ever seen before. And just, you know, people, sometimes people are homeless because they just choose to be that way. But some are homeless because they've fallen on hard times. And we need to, you know, keep those people in prayer. I mean, those people out there are somebody's mama, somebody's daddy, somebody's son, somebody's daughter, you know. So uh, let's keep these people in your prayers. So I'm going to sign off. It's almost five minutes in this video. I said it was going to be short, but it went a little long. So till I see you, hopefully tomorrow night, stay on, stay safe.